my gosh, I want to be like Nikki Tutorials and start my video off with a hello guys. This past month, I've been bonding with Cookie. We call this the beard scratch. I'm still trying to train her to say hello guys, but she doesn't really want to right now. Oh my gosh, it feels like it's been a literal light year. Like, hello, how is everyone? Tell me how you're doing. I guess it is just time for like the ultimate catch up ever. I have been having like excruciatingly bad anxiety every single day. My heart is going sports mode. I feel like I'm making it sound more pleasant than it is, but it's been a rough time, okay? I've had a rough month. So I thought I would start today with a story for you about the first time that I ever experienced anxiety because I'm, I was trying to figure out like the last time that I've been feeling this way. I should also note that I have been fully living out of a suitcase. So I found this bag that perfectly fits all of my hair stuff. Since I finally washed my hair, I figured I'm going to style my hair. My story begins when I was a little young nine-year-old. I was having the time of my life, first grade through fourth grade at Canyon Creek Elementary School. Five stars, I would give it. Loved that place. Then my mom, Miss Vicky, decided that she was going to start working at an elementary school, but it was not the elementary school that I went to. She worked at a different elementary school, so they then transferred me. <laughs> Gotta trust the process. So I was a little nervous going into my new school. I get to my homeroom class and I'm looking around, you know, trying to figure out who is the most friendly face. Where do I have the best odds of making a friend? I see this girl just absolutely death glaring me. Well, let's call her Cherry Pop. Berry Pop. Her name is Berry Pop. I see Berry Pop day one. She doesn't even have to say anything to me and I already know like, this bitch wants to beat my ass. It's August. People are still cheerful from the summer. We're just getting into the school semester. Everyone has their new school supplies. Everything's going good. Doesn't take long for me to start getting notes from Berry Pop. Sticky notes. I would come back from recess every day and there would be a sticky note from Berry Pop being like, you're the ugliest bitch in town. And I was like, oh my god. This is crazy. And as time goes on, they just get progressively and progressively more aggressive. Let me do another section really fast shake it out okay so back to the climax of my story sorry i gotta get back in the zone it was one of those days in class everyone's favorite day when they turn off the lights they roll in the tv on the triple stacked stand and the tv's like strapped in you know what i'm talking about oh the feeling was just like magic like we're gonna spend our day in class watching some shit on tv like amazing we're in the era of fifth grade where we are learning about the constitution so we were watching the video about that song what's it called what's it called the the, the the preamble. We are learning the song about the preamble. Let me see if I can find it actually. That was a hit. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Helping us run our country ever since then. The first part of the Constitution is called the preamble and tells what those founding fathers set out to do. We the people, domestic tranquility. I always added that note. I loved that shit. The preamble, the Constitution, I was like. Yeah, I was so into it. So I was excited to say the least. So I'm in my little fifth grade class in my little fifth grade outfit. I'm singing the preamble and I'm like, fuck yes. The founding fathers find me, like find me, bitch. I'm ready to be found by the founding fathers. I love it. I then get passed a note from Cherry Pop that says, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, during the preamble, like this is not what the founding fathers had in mind at all. Like, come on, come on. Okay, so then the entire mood switches. I am scared for my little life. We go to recess and I'm at recess thinking, okay, there is absolutely no way that I can go back to class. So I have to make a plan. Like I have to scheme out a situation where my ass is not going back to that classroom. No way, no way. So I came up with a plan and my plan wasn't like, oh, I should go tell a teacher because in my mind, I was thinking, okay, if I tell a teacher and she finds out, I'm gonna get my ass beat twice as hard by Cherry Pop. So my plan was, okay, if I break my ankles, I will have to go to the nurse and they will have no choice but to send me home. And okay, I could have just faked sick and gone to the nurse's office. But by this time in the school year, like I had already faked sick so many times trying to get the nurse to send my ass home and every time they're like, you're not sick, have a cracker. So I already knew going to the nurse with a common cold was not going to get me sent home. I needed something more serious. So I was hanging off little monkey bars. I kept trying to jump off of the monkey bars being like, okay, one of these times I'm gonna fall, it's gonna hurt so bad that I'm gonna break something and I'm gonna go to the nurse's office and she's gonna be like, great, you're gonna go home. And I'm gonna be like, woo. So in my attempt 
to fall off the monkey bars, to break my ankles so that Cherry Pop doesn't knock my teeth in when I get back to class, one of the TAs comes up to me and she's like, what are you doing? I was distressed at this point. I couldn't like tell her the truth. So I kind of was just like rambling around and she sent me to the counselor's office for an evaluation. The counselors made me eat lunch in the counselor's office for the next week. After all of these series of events, I kind of just decide, you know what, fifth grade isn't for me. I'm not going anymore. I repeat, after learning about the constitution, you are not taking me to this school. There is far more risk than there is reward. So my parents take me to this ding dong therapist that puts me on Xanax when I'm nine years old. You wanna know why I am the way I am? That little Xanax that they gave me when I was a little tater tot messed me up like full life. I like was done after that. I was done. But then I actually started having an anxiety problem because I was like, what the fuck is going on? That, Girls, gays, days, and straights is when I first learned what anxiety felt like. And lately I have been waking up again with the same sort of like, cherry pop is chasing me down the street trying to kill me. I need to break my leg so I don't have to go to school style heart rate doom. And that's how my January has been going. How the frick are you? Everyone I know, I feel like I talk to people and I'm like, so how's it going? And everyone's just kind of like a sad face. So I would love to know how your 2022 is going. Hi, I'm so happy to see you again. It's just been so long. I got ready today because I am going to the chiropractor to get cracked because I am currently struggling with intense body pain Every day, this same gargantuous squirrel, you see this, comes to talk with Stella. <laughs> Dude, he's crazy. He is insane crazy sauce. Friday, January 28th. Okay, what I am doing right now, <laughs> I'm actually trying to pack up my things because I'm going to be temporarily moving out. I didn't even have to really pack. I'm just sort of trusting what's in here for my first round of things. This is my home. I've done this so many times that one of my like life skills is I know exactly what 49 pounds feels like in this suitcase because I am not paying that $100 charge. <laughs> Making a pit stop at home because I have some things to grab. We are still waiting. Still waiting. We'll forever be waiting for the permits from the city. So as I told you last month, I was kind of looking for like a temporary place to live because it's so ironic. I have a home. I just don't have a place to live. So back to square one. I have a lot of other stuff, but I'm going to start with this. The suitcase does definitely not have four-wheel drive, and I don't think it's meant to be plowed through the snow, but we're going to try. Okay. A few weeks ago, I asked my grandma, like, hey, grandma, if you could write a book about your life, what would you call it? And she said I would call it, this is my life, I guess. I'm just going to take that <laughs> and steal it. This is my life, I guess. Do this. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Well, that worked. Ooh. Sup. Well, well, well. New scenery. Ryan and Shane have decided that they are going to be gone for the foreseeable future. So my brother texted our family and was basically like, whoever wants to stay at our house, if they so please, can stay at our house while we're gone. As a girl looking for a temporary place to live, I, that is just an offer that I cannot refuse. I don't know why I'm so nervous. This is all like a last minute thing. So truth be told, I was actually gonna go to LA tomorrow and I decided today that I was going to cancel my flight. So here I am. I'm really excited to be the first ever resident of Motel Ryan X Shane. I wonder if they have anything to eat. There's gonna be nothing but soda cans. Yep, yep. Nicely organized though. Do 
you have a Costco card, ma'am? Yeah. No, I don't anymore. And she has. So you're mooching off your family members. Correct. That's not something I can relate to. Here they come. World's fastest Costco haul. I got these noodles, cauliflower pizza, collagen, Caesar salad, B vitamins, Greek yogurt, very festive, grapes, explosion in your mouth, cherries, nut clusters, tortilla chips. Oh my gosh, I got something all over me, it's okay. Asparagus, kale, little baby spinach, probiotic, and apparently there's 10 of them. Peas of the goat, fruit, and hummus. And I think that's pretty much it. I also found this in the car. This is from Babs, the cabinet lady that she gave me for Christmas. Fancy bottle of tequila. Extra Nieho. Maybe me and Trinity will drink that tonight and Nieho our way outside. I'm scared. I just want to see you go for it. I really think this is unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, whatever you do, hold on. <laughs> okay, now get the flamingo. Wow. I have never seen, like, squirting in real life. Yeah, thanks for the help. <laughs> now you can handle it. I think we should get the real sled. I don't know if you're supposed to hold on. I think you should hold the hell on. <laughs> What's yeah. the string gonna do? It's gonna keep you attached to the board. Okay. You're putting sunglasses on? Yeah, like goggles. We have Trinity Jackowicz next in line for the Diamond Run Backcountry Skiing Winter Olympics 2022. <laughs> oh my God. I am not okay. That was unacceptable. I'm never doing that again. That was the one and final. Go outside, have your fun. If vitamin D is not for you, that's okay. They make vitamins. I was honestly, I was just gonna end the vlog there because I was like, you know what? It's 2022, keep the vlog short, keep it sweet, keep it to the point. And then I thought there have been people that have been waiting for an entire month for an explanation of where I have been, what I've been doing, what I've been up to. Where do I even begin? Cheers, here is the first of the year bedtime chat with me. To be quite forward, the theme of the month has been rejection. I'm calling January the month of rejection, which is good because I usually have, you know, like two or three bad months out of the year and I'm like, I already got one out of the way. As of right now, it is Monday, January 31st. I have had the entire month of January to where I can now give it a big fat recap and then let it go and never come back. The most Ryan and Shane thing I've ever seen is that this cup has an alpaca on it and so do all of their other wine glasses. And I was thinking earlier, it would actually be a lot more fun if they were here but they are not. So I am house sitting, all right? Because you know what happens when you have a house? You have to have someone sit in it to make sure that it does not get up and walk away. Anyway, back to my January recap. January, my main goal was where is going to be my temporary place to live. I found two apartments that were temporary that I really liked, contacted the people, and when it came down to it, both of them were like, listen, no. Do I have permits from the city to start construction on my house? No. Has there been any progress on my house? No. And then I was like, you know what? This is a sign. I'm going on vacation. The airline canceled my flight and I just took that as a sign from the universe that that is also a no. I have just been putting so much time and effort into people, into things, into projects, and the answer of the whole entire month has been no. So this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, for the last day I'm going to allow myself to be angry. I'm gonna go for a drive and I'm gonna unleash and then I'm moving on. So I get in my little car and I'm like, oh, I'm angry. So I'm driving. I put on like, I am angry music and I am just driving. I don't know where I'm going, I'm just driving, okay? This is my coping mechanism. And then you just hear a little boop boop. This is my speeding ticket. <laughs> Cop pulls me over. I just start sobbing. And he's like, little lady, is there a reason that you are going 45 in a 35? And I just looked at him 
after writing my analysis about how the theme of my entire month has been no, and I just said, no, there is not a reason that I was going 45 and a 35. Thank you. That has been my month, but for some reason, right now, I just for the first time in 30 whole days feel like an immense amount of peace. You know what I decided? No is an acceptable answer. And tomorrow is a new day. I am turning the car around. I have four points on my license. I'm gonna probably have to go to court, but I am turning the car around. I'm actually really excited for February. I'm really excited for this year. I honestly have no idea when Shane and Ryland are coming back. Trinity was with me here all weekend and she's actually on her way back right now because I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little sad to be sleeping alone. So remember Cowboy Dave when he said, I just live on the run. That is me. And that is the energy that I am taking and running with. I am a woman that is just on the run. You don't know where I'm gonna be. You don't know what city I'm gonna be in. You don't know what house I live at. You don't know my address because bitch, I don't have an address. <laughs> like, oh man. And I have missed you so, so dearly that you don't even understand like how happy I am to be here right now and how happy I am to see you. I hope you tell me all your deepest, darkest secrets. We are going to figure this out together. And if you are also feeling like everything in your life is just a big fat no, you know what my grandma told me? Rejection is redirection. I love you so much. I am just gonna try to go to bed tonight, get a little sleep. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. And oh my gosh, do you wanna see the stress? This is the person that I am back to. Love you so much.